Today, I want to show you a case study of how SOFIS technologies can be used to solve an order assignment problem for a wholesaler in the U.S. Home Style, a U.S.-based furniture and interiors wholesaler, supplies various online platforms, including Amazon, from its two distribution centers in Los Angeles and Louisville. The company currently delivers to over 100 Amazon fulfillment centers nationwide, focusing on same-day shipping. This leads to smaller, more frequent shipments and high transportation costs. As a result, HomeStyle's management is considering a strategy to consolidate shipments, aiming to ship to just one Amazon fulfillment center per state, reducing the total destinations from 108 to 31. This change could lead to a reduced margin from Amazon, but if the transportation cost savings outweigh the margin loss, it could be beneficial. The company is also exploring the possibility of consolidating shipments for up to three days to create larger, less frequent shipments, balancing cost efficiency with service quality. This could enhance profitability by optimizing shipment sizes and reducing transportation costs. Let's talk about the modeling approach. The SOFIS AR team has successfully developed a new algorithm specifically designed to optimize the allocation of shipment orders to lanes and dates with the goal of minimizing total supply chain costs. This algorithm takes into account various factors, including the available lanes at the source and destination, as well as the specific period in which shipments are to be made, it also considers the potential delivery window for each individual shipment order. The algorithm incorporates user-defined stepwise cost functions, enabling it to account for the economies of scale achieved through order consolidation. Additionally, it takes into consideration the cost associated with inventory holding when determining the optimal timing for order delivery. Remarkably, the algorithm has the capability to handle a vast number of shipments, even in the millions, and provides recommendations for the most advantageous solution from a holistic perspective very quickly. The Sophus X platform offers the capability to run multiple scenarios, allowing users to test various demand forecasts, network setups, and service levels. By testing different scenarios, the platform enables businesses to gain a deeper understanding of the potential outcomes and implications of different decision options, to ensure the highest quality and derive maximum value from the model in an efficient manner. Users can take advantage of the integrated data automation tool called Dastro. Dastro seamlessly connects to raw input data sources and performs essential tasks such as data cleaning and formatting preparing the data for model refresh. By using Dastro, users can streamline the process of input data preparation, saving time and effort. The tool automates the data cleansing and formatting steps, reducing the likelihood of human errors and ensuring consistent data quality for model analysis. Furthermore, Dastro offers the functionality to schedule regular runs, allowing for automated updates and refreshes of the model with the latest data. This ensures that the model is always up to date and provides accurate results based on the most current information available. By integrating Dastro into the workflow, users can enhance the efficiency and accuracy of their data analysis, enabling them to make well-informed decisions based on reliable insights from the model. Next, let's have a look at the baseline, the key input tables, and the output results. The order assignment model requires simple input comprises of five tables. The product table has only one entry because we measure the throughput in pallets in this model. The sites table includes the DC locations as well as the ship to locations. The periods table defines the model horizon of one year in daily time buckets. The shipments table captures the source, destination, volume by date, and you can also define the shipment window here by choosing the earliest and latest pickup and shipping dates. Finally, the shipment lane table defines the transportation costs by source, destination, and period. You can use stepwise cost function to show the economy of scale of transportation costs. 
we don't have to populate these data manually. A better way is to utilize the built-in ETL tool Dastro, which can be used to set up repeatable data processing workflows that links to data sources, extracts, and cleans the inputs before reformatting it and exporting to your SOFIS model. For example, this macro shows how the freight rate card is converted to the stepwise cost function used in the shipment lanes table. It can be configured to run automatically at certain times. Let's look at how scenarios are set up next. In SOFIS, users could create scenarios by combining scenario items that modify certain values of the base data. For example, we can use a scenario item to grow the demand by 5% for the upside demand scenarios. We can also use other scenario items to include different shipments to represent different service requirements and network setup. Next, let's review the results of the optimization. In the output shipment lane table, we can see how many orders are combined into the same shipments. For example, in the first record, four orders are combined to be shipped from DC underscore LA to FC underscore BF13 on the 4th of January. This shipment has 21 pallets in total. We can also review the output from the customizable dashboard. Firstly, we can see a bar chart that compares the total transportation cost between the scenarios. In the baseline, the total cost is 14.4 million in the whole year. When relaxing the service level to three days, the cost reduces to 8.4 million, which is about 40% saving. Next, if we reduce the number of destinations from 108 to 31, we can also see a similar reduction in the cost. Finally, if we combine both changes, we get a compound effect with some extra savings, which is about 50% of the original cost. We can also create maps to show the profitability by destination to compare two scenarios side by side. The map on the left represents the current network with 108 destinations. The lighter colors show lower profitability caused by small shipments, whereas on the right, the consolidated network has fewer but larger destinations, which have higher profitability thanks to the cheaper transportation cost. Finally, the bar chart at the bottom compares the two service scenarios. The blue color represents the daily shipments in the baseline, compared with the green lines which is less frequent but larger shipments when we relax the service level to three days. Thanks for your time. Hope you found this case study useful. If you have need for supply chain optimization, please feel free to reach out to us at sophis.ai.